good people I'm back from Spring Texas and today I'm going to be doing some skewered charcoal grilled shrimp New Orleans style this is an America's test kitchen recipe it calls for two pounds of shrimp and lucky for me down at my local HEB they sell two pound bags of jumbo shrimp already deveined which means the shells are still on but they've cut it down the back and deveined it which is perfect I'm going to go ahead and brine these for about 20 minutes. So I've got one quart of water, and I'm going to take two tablespoons of salt. And I'm going to dissolve it. All right, I opened up the bag of shrimp and I'm gonna just pour my brine right on top of it. There it goes. This is the beauty of using these bags. It's super easy. Then you just seal it back up and let it brine for 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Weber today. Let's put about six quarts of charcoal in there. Royal Oak hardwood. And I've got a Weber cube down inside. I'm going to light it up. Just kind of stack some of the coals around it and get them going. Should be going good in about 20 minutes. All right. I just lit the grill. The shrimp is in the brine. I just put four tablespoons of butter into the same saucepan that I mixed up the brine in. And I'm going to crank it up, and there it goes. And I'm just going to melt it on about a medium, medium low. All right, the butter's melted. I hear a little snap, crackle, and pop in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put my garlic in. It's just going to go about 30 seconds. Nope. Ooh, that's getting nice and happy in there. It's been about 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and kill the heat. Put a lid on it. Take it off the heat. And just let it sit there. The shrimp have been brining for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to drain the brine water out of them. Now I'm going to rinse them thoroughly with cold water. Now I'm going to toss them with my dry rub. I've already put one and a half or two tablespoons of vegetable oil in a big bowl. I'm going to put in my shrimp. Along with my dry rub. 
which is a teaspoon of thyme, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of cayenne to taste. And I'm just going to toss them. All right, my coals are looking pretty happy here. I'm going to take my crusty, my <coughs> crusty, my trusty crawfish paddle and spread them out evenly. Place the grate on top, cast iron grate, put the lid on, the bottom's completely open already, I'm going to open the top up all the way for five minutes. Okay, and while my grate's heating up, I'm going to skewer my shrimp. Simply take a metal skewer, hold it vertically. You were the shrimp, right through the center. Easy as that. Super easy. Super fast. Figure about now is a good time to crack into a cold beverage. So I'm gonna crack open one of these big easy IPAs from a Beta Brewing Company on the north shore of Lake Pontchartrain. This brewery is located in the town of Apita Springs, just north of New Orleans, Louisiana, one of the greatest cities on earth. This is a nice beer. It's not, uh, it's not overly strong like typical IPA, not too, too hoppy, you know. It's real, I find it to be real drinkable in, uh, in the hot summer months. So grab some and enjoy. All right, the time has come to put these bad boys on. The lid's been on about five minutes. It's up to 500 degrees. It's been letting the grate get hot. I'm gonna pop off the top. Move the traditional scrape down. Use the trusty long tongs. Pop each one of these on here. And these aren't going to cook long, probably about five or six minutes. Just wait until they get a nice, they get a nice pink color to them. A nice char. And they'll be done. It's a thing of beauty. All right, it's been about three minutes. Give them a flip here. Oh my goodness. Ooh, these look good. Smell good. Mm. All right, it's been another couple minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off. Last thing you want is overcooked shrimp. Man, that is a thing of beauty. Mm-hmm. All right, at this point, I'm simply gonna take them off the skewers. Pretty easy to do here. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Mm -hmm. Let's grab a random one here. It's a thing of beauty right there. Mm. Could have done that for you. All right, I hope you haven't forgotten that your good old butter garlic mixture is still on the stove. So I'm going to crank it up here just to warm it up. About 30 seconds. All right, at this point, I'm just going to make these happy shrimp extra happy. Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, goodness. That's what I'm talking about. Squeeze. Yeah. I'm doing it. See? All right, my friends, there it is. New Orleans style charcoal grilled shrimp. I got my first shrimp. Always delicious, easy to do, yum. Made some tomato, cucumber, olive salad on the side with some fresh basil from the garden. This is a delicious meal. Y'all enjoy. Happy grilling. All right, and for those of you who don't know, this is how easy this is to peel. There you go. Done. Just like that. And gone. Down the hatch.